What's, What's up, up everybody? everybody? I'm Daryl. And I'm Marie. And this is DM's, DM's Mix Up. Welcome back to DM's Mix Up. Today, what we're going to do is answer some questions from our subscribers. <laughs> we put out a video called Q&A Time. Feel free to go back and ask more questions if you want. We'll put out another answer video. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the first 10 questions that we got and we're going to answer them right now. You ready? No. But we'll figure it out. Okay, so first question comes from one of our first original longest subscribers and that is Bostar. And his question was, what is our favorite music? We kind of, well, it's kind of, it's an easy one and yet a difficult one. Um, easy part is everything. Difficult part is everything. Um, we listen to everything from classical to, we believe in this to the opera on occasion. Not very rarely, but we have um, gospel music. Church music, country music, heavy metal, slasher, screamo. <laughs> we, we've kind of ran the gamut, haven't we? I believe so. I don't I, think there's too much we don't listen to. No, but I, I think my favorite is heavy metal. Yeah. I've always been a fan of heavy metal music. I love... Yeah. And anything with a lot of bass that doesn't have foul language in it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I have to say I've always been partial to uh, rock that's got a lot of metal to it, and well, uh, glam rock. <laughs> a little ashamed of that one, but yes, they did the makeup. Yeah. And the real answer to the question <laughs> is anything that Bo Star plays on his channel. That's our favorite music. All right, so next question comes from Tosh Time. Okay. Yeah, what? <laughs> Where did you both have your first date at? I think she means our first date, not separately. Yes. <laughs> I agree. We'll just go we'll with, stick with together. where our first date was together. Yes. Um, that's easy. You take it. Um, we went to the skating rink. We used to be really big into roller skating. And so it was one of my favorite places to go. So I asked her if she would go with me. And that's where we went on our first technical date. Yep. It is indeed. And everything else happened from there. <laughs> What's our next question? Who from? All right. So the next question comes from Whitaker Family Vlogs. And the question is, what is our greatest childhood accomplishment? Ooh. Childhood accomplishment. Um, mm, that's kind of a toughie. <laughs> um, there was quite a few things I did as a kid I, I was pretty proud of. Um, my favorite ones, uh, there's two actually, they're tied. Uh, when I was in kindergarten, um, I was the only student to learn over 100 Bible verses in the school year and could recite them all upon memory. And I was also the only girl that did it. So it was kind of a double whammy. And then when I was a teenager, I put in over 700 hours volunteer time into the VA. And nice. I, I actually got a certificate from the school for it. But I'm, I'm pretty proud of both of those. What about you? I think for me, my biggest childhood accomplishment would be um, in high school. I was on the honor roll and ended up being inducted into the honor society at two different schools at the same time. That is so, right. She calls me a brain sometimes, but I don't really think so. 
He is my glorified fax repairman. <laughs> okay, so next question comes from our buddy Crimson Fantasy. And his question is, what made you guys get into metal detecting? You did. So, way you said back... history and I went, yes! <laughs> uh, yeah, she likes history. So, way back a year ago, around this time, I was actually watching metal detecting videos. Yeah. Um... Was watching Mon Monster Coin Hunter and um, Exploring lovely, Alabama. The lovely young lady. And um, also Aqua Chigger and um, Relic Recoverist. That's it. I was watching a lot of those channels, the Hoover Boys. Um, and so I, I liked the idea of metal detecting and finding, just finding stuff and possibly, you know, getting into the history of where that stuff came from, why yeah. it was still there, or who lost it. I even was able to see some people return rings and things that they found, class rings that someone had lost in 1960 or whatever. Yeah. So that, that kind of appealed to me, and we wanted to get into something that we could do together. So I suggested that. She liked the history idea. Mm -hmm. And we decided to do that. So that's how we got into metal detecting. <laughs> yep. And we're not very good at it, but it is fun. We like to do it. We're getting better. And <laughs> we're getting better. We are definitely learning a lot. <laughs> yes. All right. So next question is from Hook 'em in the Mouth Kayak Fishing. Hey. And the question is, what was your favorite DMs mix-up moment of all times? Mm. I have to say, when I found my, that first little piece of jewelry, even though it was just little crystals set in like silver, I that was awesome. I got so excited because <laughs> for once it wasn't trash. And don't mind me. I mean, it's it's cool. I don't care as long as I'm fine and stuff. But I have to say the fact that it, it was something pretty for a change. <laughs> and that was my favorite. It wasn't a nail. That, oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> or a pull tab. Well, Although I, I, pull I tabs have to say that pretty, was my favorite one because I actually awesome. found it. But if it was my favorite moment for us, I'd have to say when, when you found that plow disc. Yeah, that's, that's going to be my favorite, I think. I, I found some other pretty cool things. Um, but I think finding the plow disc... Out on the old plantation farm, back in a wooded area, it was it was off the beaten path, and mm -hmm. it, it was just I don't know. I, I found it around a bunch of bricks. I thought that was yeah. the coolest thing ever. I actually, even though it's rusted, I still have the plow disc in my garage. <laughs> I may even try to clean it up and hang it on the wall. I don't know, but I think that was the best find for me. Because of the history, yeah. and just because... That was the cool part. I had no idea what it was when I was digging it out. I was like, what in the world is this? And then, you know, the more it I uncovered, so I was like, this thing is getting bigger and bigger. And <laughs> then it turned out to be a plow disc. So. I'm just glad it wasn't, like, really deep <laughs> as well as the as big of it was. Yeah, and that was... We would have never gotten it out of the ground. <laughs> that was the other thing. It was literally, it was probably three inches under the ground. That's about it. Mm-hmm. So, so, who's next? All right, uh, let's see. The next one comes from Bubba's Garage Vlogs. <laughs> and their question is, what's in store for Daryl and Marie in 2018? Well, first of all, hi guys. And second of all, um... Hopefully a whole lot more activity since the weather should be breaking here and staying that way soon. Um, we've been having some good days lately with weather and uh, taking every opportunity we get to break out of the house because we both have cabin fever. Um, and I would like to do some more gaming videos. I would. Um, 
and definitely some more fishing videos and uh, maybe some nature walks because we found some awesome trails and different things around uh, little small areas of bodies of water so we figure why not video record checking it out and you know getting familiar with the location and share it maybe we could even fish some holes we also um we have a couple of permissions that we can actually go do some metal detecting at. So that's going to be interesting. Mm. Not exactly sure what might have been there, but we got permission to go hunt. One of them we heard had an old house site that's no longer standing. So that might be cool to find some old history there. Um, and then I know some areas that uh, actually have... I used to go when I was younger fishing, and we might be able to go there and do some nature hunts and fishing. That would be cool. So the other thing I would like to see Stay us home. see us get is to be able to have um, uh, at least a kayak or two, or maybe a small boat, because fishing okay. around here from the shore is not that great. Um, not unless but, you're, you're surf fishing. Surf fishing, no problem. Freshwater, not so much. So, yeah, if we could get a small boat, yeah. we, the fishing would be so better, so, so much, much better, better yes. because we'd be able to get to the areas where the actual fish are. I kind of like the kayak idea. <sighs> we'll see. But I'd like to see us get better uh, gear, too. I'd like to get another Garrett Carrot, and I'd like to get better metal detectors for both of us because the ones we have... It's not we get a lot of phantom signals. There's a lot of phantom signals with it. And it's not that they don't work. They work. Uh, you just get a lot of phantom signals. And sometimes it doesn't want to read so well, especially any kind of wet surface. If it's got any real moisture to it at all, it just kind of acts wonky. And you can't tell how deep it is because it doesn't, it doesn't distinguish that. And it, I don't kind of care for the way it distinguishes the type of metal either. A lot of the metal detectors that we clear. see people using on, they actually have numbers on their metal detectors. We don't. Yeah, no. We just have a little bar that indicates what it might be, like a nickel, a dime, uh, trash, quarter, <laughs> half dollar. So we get half dollar signals all the time, but it ain't no half dollar. It's a... It's aluminum a, a lot of yeah, times. Yeah, it's aluminum or something. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. That's, you know. We'll use what we got to use until we can get something better. All right, so next question comes yes. from Arcane Amusement. <laughs> and it's a two-part question. And that question is, um, how did we meet? And oh. what was our first impression? This one's going to get a little weird. <laughs> um, we're going to have to give the G version <laughs> of this um, synopsis here. I will let you go first. So, we used to go to night school, and I used to ride with a friend, because I didn't have a car at the time. So, this one day, I ride to night school, and this girl comes up to my side of the car, talking past me to my friend. And I was like, mm, she looks pretty good. She's, I, I would date her if, you know, it was possible. But it seemed like she was inf interested in my friend, so I just avoided it. Next thing I know, she was sitting on my lap. You offered. <laughs> it was cold outside or something, and she wanted to sit down. So I was, I was like, well, you could always sit on my lap. And we all sat there talking for a few minutes, and I thought that was going to be the end of it. Later on, I actually saw her in, in our day school, mm -hmm. and I was laying on the floor waiting for my dad to come pick me up. And she was sitting over on a bench by the window. And I guess she noticed that I kept looking at her because she was like, are you just going to lay over there? Are you going to come talk to me? And I was like, 
uh, well, I guess I'm going to come talk to you now. So I went over and talk, started talking to her, and that's when we actually started talking because she was no longer interested in my friend. Because I met you. And that's where we started talking. He was too self-centered. Yeah. And selfish, and I decided that that was just not the type of person for me. Yeah, we weren't friends for long. Anyway. So, that's a story for another time, but that's how we met, and so, what are you going to say about your first impression? <laughs> oh, you're bad. Um, <clears throat> my first impression was, I w before I actually even got to say anything to you, or get introduced, was I was jealous because you were <laughs> taking up time and space with someone that I was interested in, but I quickly realized that... Uh, you are a much cuter and a much better option to so, get to know. And that brought us to this point, 25 years later. He took pity on me because I had been up since like 3 a.m. working and going to day school and then turned around and was coming to night school and offered me to sit in his lap since he had taken my seat. He was so chivalrous. <laughs> Okay, we'll go with that. All right, now that that's over, let's move on to the next question. <laughs> the next question comes from Anna Rammel. <laughs> Such a great channel. I love her channel. Hello. So, her question is, what is the best and most valuable item you have found while metal detecting? I have to be the disc. So... That's just the awesomest thing ever. I think, while it may not, they both, both might be about the same in value, I think mm. the Tootsie Toy car that oh, I found, yeah. or truck, I, forgot about the Tootsie I toy. think that one might be a little more of value if it's oh. worth anything. Monetary, yeah. But I definitely have to say that the but plow disc... both of them are about even, aren't they? Well, the plow disc was from... The 1800s and the okay, Tootsie so Toy just... was from like 1960. Mm, so the plow um, disc would be a little older, yeah. Definitely <laughs> older. I don't think it's worth anything because it's rusted iron and whatever. But it's still pretty cool. To me, I think they run neck and neck as far as how I value them. I... And of course, you found a ring and I haven't found a ring. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'll find one. I'm going to find one this hey, year. You got something big and dirty out the ground, and I got something big and, well, sparkly, so it kind of works. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I, got, I think I got more excited about the fact that she found the ring than she did because she was like, when we found it at the park, um, there was a car so nearby, and I was like, oh, wow, you found a ring. And she's like, shh. I don't want nobody to hear. I was like, shit, but they'll hear you, and then they're going to start claiming it's theirs. <laughs> Let me get a look at it first. <laughs> at the time, it looked like it was diamonds and silver. So, yeah, I could understand where she was coming from, but I was excited. The plan was to get a good look at it and have it examined to see if it was actually worth anything. And if it turned out that it was, well, we were going to put a statement in the newspaper to see if anybody came forward with a description or and photographs or anything to yeah. claim it. But I didn't want to get it out there to the people that were standing around for fear they'd all claim, oh, it's mine. Yeah, and, <laughs> um, well, it was almost dark, so we really couldn't, we couldn't find any indication whether or not it was real or not, so no. err on the side of caution. Yeah. All right, so the next question comes from Southern Food Junkie. Hey. And, and his question is, of course. Of course. What? Well, uh, it's actually also a two-part uh, two question. Okay. And that question is, what is each of your favorite foods and what is your favorite mm -hmm. soda? Mm. Okay. Um, oh, you're talking to somebody who loves food. <laughs> I have to say, my favorite food is pizza. Uh, your favorite food is bacon. 
with pizza on it. <laughs> <laughs> or a second runner-up is grilled cheese. His I'm, a, favorite I'm food, a big fun His favorite fan. food is any food that is covered or wrapped in bacon. <laughs> All right, she called me out. It's okay. Um, so my, my favorite so soda flavor is also bacon. No, not really. <laughs> Ew, they do have that, though. You know that, right? I used to be a big fan of Mountain Dew. However, I found out it has something called brominated vegetable oil in it, which is super not good for you. And I was, I was getting a lot of headaches and stuff. So ever since I stopped drinking it, that has gone away. Um, but I have to say, I'm still a fan. I've always been a Mountain Dew guy. And Ever, if you're wondering... From the time I was 16, 15, 16, I'm drinking Mountain Dew every day. More like a two liter every day. But they use the stuff to keep the color and such from separating. The citrus. The yes, it the, keeps citrus. the citrus. So from is from it separating. the citrus and the color? No, just the citrus. Stop it from the citrus from turning, I guess, or separating from the soda. Yeah, but anyway, it's, it's really bad for you. So I had to stop. I still don't know about my favorite food. Um, let me think. Mm, what would be my go-to food? Oh, gosh. Um, Chocolate. No, that's... A, that's Well, it's a food. If it was a food, you would be... <laughs> that would be a or every day. That's more of a junk food. Um, and I, I don't eat it that often, but when I do, I, I do eat a lot of chocolate when I actually get in the mood. Oh, steak. <laughs> Yeah. I will always eat steak. I'll agree with that. I will never turn down a steak. As long as it's cooked correctly, it's got Beef. to be medium rare. That's what's for dinner. <laughs> it's got to be medium rare. Otherwise, it's too too chewy for me. And just that. But All right. And what about your soda? Soda. Um, I Was that Shasta can I found in the backyard? Was that yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was not me, but that's funny. Um... I would have to say it's birch beer. Birch beer. Birch beer. I do like me a good birch beer. Mm hmm And it, it's kind of annoying because you'll go to a lot of, like, gas stations, restaurants and stuff. And they have root beer. And they have root beer. They don't have any birch beer. <laughs> right. And I don't want that. I want birch beer. Yeah. But here in Delaware, we have it. In some of the restaurants, at least. And some of the gas stations. Yeah, sometimes, yes. Okay, so our last and final question comes from Valerie Reese. And her question is, when and why did you decide to start a YouTube channel? Again, that was you. So I'm going to have to start off with the fact that I wanted something to do. I was getting, I guess, bored with my normal everyday stuff. And so I decided that I was going to take some of my gaming clips um, that you can record from the Xbox and start a YouTube channel, start posting those videos. Um, Soon after that is when we started the discussions about the metal detecting and the, the idea came up about us doing that on YouTube while we were at it. And then we basically talked ourselves into creating a channel for us and doing things together because that's all we really wanted anyway was to spend more time together. We've been married for 25 years but we've also gone through five children and <laughs> we haven't really had a lot of time for just each other not completely through two well, are adults and three are minors but yeah. we're almost there we're getting to a point <laughs> where they can kind of handle themselves oh, yeah. a little bit oh yeah not they're definitely can take care of themselves a little bit so we we can actually we're like we need something that we can do together where we can spend time and whatnot and we would already go fishing together but we wanted mm -hmm. a lot of other more things too, but because you can't always go fishing no we want variety we were kind of yeah. bored with doing the same old things all the time so with the idea of doing the channel the concept there was to get ourselves out there together 
doing things different that we haven't done and taking a different direction on the things that we had been doing, like fishing. Instead of doing, like, a lot of trying to do a lot of fresh water for a while, we switched to doing a lot of surf fishing. Um, and in the meantime, we would be looking fishing. for um, different uh, fishing holes that have possibly different fish or in a different region altogether to see if there's better fishing in the area. Um, and that way we can switch back and forth. And it's something different every time we do go and do it. Same with metal detecting, different areas, different locations, different possibilities. And by posting them on YouTube, we're sharing all the different options out there that people can get out and get involved in doing things. And we hope that we take them on a little bit of a adventure with every video that they watch, whether it's gaming or metal detecting or fishing or hiking or nature hikes. It, we hope that they enjoy it. Yep. And the other thing was um, when we made that decision, I was originally posting everything to my personal YouTube account. Um, and so we decided instead of using our personals, we would create a joint mm -hmm. YouTube account, come up with a name, and we created just all the social media at the same time so that it would be separate. You know, that way it would be ours instead of just mine or just hers. We would be able to do it together. Mm -hmm. So. And we're a little weird in that way. We like to... Um, <laughs> we're very weird in that way. We have more fun doing stuff together than separate. It just That's just the way it has always been. <laughs> so, Yeah, a lot of times uh, we'll be asked individually to go somewhere or do something. And if we can't bring the other person along in this marriage, then we tend to go do something just the two of us because we just have more fun that way we yeah. really do plus when all is said and done when everybody else is busy and their lives are going on and it's just the two of us we're good with that it's just gonna be the two it's of great us. to have company around it's great to have friends but oh yeah he is my best friend so it's great to be able to do things and enjoy it and document it too Agreed. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for this video. So thanks, guys, for all the questions. Yes. And we hope you enjoy watching all the answers. We appreciate your subscribing support and, and your support and all of our subscribers. Watch time that you give us. We we are honored and flattered that you guys want to <laughs> peek into our lives. Yeah, it's kind of funny because at, when we first decided to do it, we really didn't even think we would get 10 subscribers, let alone no. we're at like 630 now. So My we're, gosh, it just keeps growing. Yeah, we're pretty excited about that. Oh, we're very excited. So um, don't forget, if you guys want to, any of you new subscribers want to leave us a question, that video is still up there. You can... Um, Leave us a question there, and when we get to 10 more questions, we will pop out another video. Mm -hmm. And um, don't forget to hit that like button and share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And we Please will do. see you Please on the next out. video. Check out all the videos. Bye. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content.